Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. Today in this session, we will discuss the study of osmosis using potato osmometer. So friends, let's get started. First, we will study what is osmosis. Osmosis is a very common term used to indicate the diffusion of solvent like water. In osmosis, the diffusion of water occurs through a semi-permeable membrane between two compartments or solutions of differing solute concentration. A semi-permeable membrane is also known as the selective membrane. The cell membrane of living organisms behaves as a selective membrane that only allows the diffusion of small molecules or ions to cross the barrier. To know the basic idea of osmosis, look into this diagram. Here you can see a semi-permeable membrane separating two solutions. In solution A, there is a pure water and in solution B, there is a salt solution. Now the question is what happens next? The next thing you can see is the movement of water from compartment A to B. The reason behind this is that the solution A has more solvent concentration and the solution B, it means salt solution, has low solvent concentration and high solute concentration. Here water is the solvent and salt is the solute. So as per the rule of osmosis, water will move from a solution with a high concentration of water to a solution with a low concentration of water. Now let us discuss what is potato osmometer. Friends, using potato osmometer, we can study or demonstrate the process of osmosis in a living system. In this experiment, a potato is used to study both endosmosis and exosmosis. And before proceeding to the theory of potato osmometer, we must know the basics. Here the cell wall of potato acts as a semi-permeable membrane. Then the solution within the cavity of a potato tuber forms the compartment A and the solution surrounding the potato tuber forms the compartment B. Then endosmosis and exosmosis are the two common types of osmosis. Endosmosis is a process in which water moves into the cell from the surrounding solution and it occurs when a cell is placed in a hypotonic solution having a high solvent concentration. Then exosmosis is a process in which water moves out of the cell into the surrounding solution. It occurs when a cell is placed in a hypertonic solution having a low solvent concentration. To perform the experiment, we require a peeled of potato, water, petri plate, knife, sugar solution and pins. Now we will discuss the procedure to study endosmosis using potato osmometer. First we have to cut the top section of the potato. Then cut the bottom section so that we can easily place the potato on a petri plate. Then using knife, make a cavity from the center of the potato tuber deep into the bottom by leaving some space. Then keep the potato in the petri plate and add pure water to half of the petri plate. After that, add concentrated sugar solution into half of the cavity created in the potato tuber. To conclude the results, first insert a pin into the potato tuber to mark the level of a sugar solution. After that, leave the plate undisturbed for some time. After a while, you can see the increase in the level of sugar solution and as the water enters into the cavity of the potato tuber from the surrounding solution, it confirms the endosmosis. Here, the movement of water into the cell is due to its low solvent or high solute concentration. To study exosmosis using potato osmometer, we need to follow the same procedure up to the step 3. Then add concentrated sugar solution into the petri plate and add pure water to the cavity of the potato tuber. Then to mark the level of water, insert a pin to the potato tuber. Wait for a while to notice any change in the water level. After some time you can notice that the water level decreases due to the low solvent concentration in the surrounding solution. And as the water moves out from the cavity of the potato tuber to the surrounding solution, it confirms the exosmosis. So friends, this is all for today. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So if you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.